in, in doing a study like this, where we examined the ACS National Surgical Quality Improvement Participant Use File, the ACS NISQIP database, where we're looking at a broad swath of patients, nine surgical specialties, 5.6 million patients, and we didn't break it down intentionally by subtypes of operations or diseases, you know, we really start seeing these trends and, and have enough patients to show significant differences between patients who are normal body weight, overweight, and at various classes of obesity. I'm a thoracic surgeon and I do foregut surgery in the belly as well as surgery in the chest. And in my experience, um, the increased subcutaneous adipose tissue, so fat tissue under the skin, and visceral obesity, so fat tissue in the belly or in the chest, make it harder uh, to, they decrease intraoperative visibility. They make it harder to access the organs we're going uh, to operate on and finding the blood vessels as well. And then after surgery, as we're closing uh, incisions, there's an increase in what we call dead space, um, where the wound is being closed due to the fat tissue. And also during surgery, there can be increased insensible fluid losses in open operations where there's evaporative loss of fluid and it changes the volume of distribution of medications, which makes controlling the uh, perioperative medication dosing a little more challenging. And it makes sense that we saw an increased risk of infection, venous thromboembolic events, and renal failure in patients who are obese compared to non-obese patients. Uh, as surgeons, you know, with whoever we're taking care of, if we look at that and make sure that whether it's before or after our surgery, that they're they're looking at the obesity as a health problem and, and understanding that they're both medical and surgical opportunities to, to make them healthier and help them live a, you know, a higher quality of life and a longer life, then, then, uh, uh, then we're, we're doing a good job. And so this is, this is really um, eye-opening to me and my surgical research team. Uh, but also to other providers and patients that obesity carries complications associated with surgery, not just what we think of with um, non-surgical diseases associated with obesity.